Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Wednesday. We're in the middle of the week, almost to Friday. And I want to talk a little bit about Footy's batch number two, because that is something that's going to come this Friday that could actually impact this market a lot. I want to talk about why it could, especially yesterday with the new Weekend League Plus objectives. EA broke their normal schedule, their normal form, the mold, as you could say, and instead of releasing just weekend league plus objectives with the higher win thresholds and no team requirements, they actually went out and did a Premier League weekend league plus, which is nice, right? I think these are fun. Premier League, very easy to do, I think, for a lot of people as well. We've had so many Prem cards, and that's what people were starting to expect after seeing so many Premier League objectives, SBCs, and the like be put out this past week that we're really pushing toward the Prem, right? And you saw some of those prices rise two days ago as people were expecting it. And then even yesterday with this week in League Plus come out, you have seen some prices go up. So I want to talk about that. Also today on Wednesday, we should be seeing the Sissoko slash Zaha, whoever is going to win that SBC should be getting their card today. I want to talk about how much I think that could cost or uh, SBC wise on the market and what that card could look like. And as well, again, just talk about Footy's Batch too, because we've seen a lot of prices go up in the past, I guess you could say 12 hours or so, right? Number one card I'm flipping right now is Hyunmin Sun. Uh, I think for good reason. A lot of people are looking at this item, who was 420,000 coins earlier today. He's now 488. A lot of people are looking at this card for good reason. Of course, it links to the brand new Sissoko card that should be coming today. It's mostly expected that Sissoko would win the footies vote SBC for Monday and get released today. It would also go straight along with, uh, well, I guess if Zaha wins too, it's it's a Premier League card either way. But this Sun card is up because of the weekly plus objectives and because of Sissoko. Now, here's what I have to say, right? And this is the point that I want to stress in today's video. A lot of these cards have gone up in price. You take a look at some of the Prem items. Um, Laporte, Summer Stars, 225K. Ferran Torres, 160 uh, Rashford's 850. That's up a decent amount. He was even higher than that at one point. Sterling 927. He was a million at one point in time. Um, let's see. Salah 470. I bought one of those today at 410. He is up a decent amount. So a lot of these Prem cards. Cavani is up. Adama is even up a little bit. Bruno Fernandez. Dominson Sanchez. Actually, he was 230. He's actually down a little bit right now. But a lot of these Premier League cards, especially Team of the Seasons and some of the uh, Summer Stars items that are you know meta. Those are the cards that are going to be released into Batch 2. So, with a combination of whatever comes out today content-wise, last week on Wednesday, we had a little bit of a drop in the market because of the Atal objective. If we were to get another, I guess you could say, objective very similar to Atal, like a, a multi-step grindable uh, objective where you have multiple different cards in here to, you know, you get the full birthday, then you get a 91, then the 94. If we were to have a, another objective like this, which it is rumored to be a possible Adama, right? It's not guaranteed by any, by any means, but if we were to get an SBC or an objective like that today, uh, that could crash the market a little bit, of course, with the Sissoko coming out. But again, if we have brand new packs in Friday, which is what we're going to be seeing, brand new cards in packs on Friday, you think of a best of release one. We had a couple team of the years and a lot of, you know, kind of mid to lower tier items. It really seems like batch two could have a few lower tier to mid items and then have maybe a couple more team of the years, maybe some team of the seasons, right? I think they're going to start to incorporate some team of the season cards into this batch number two and maybe just maybe a few path to glory and a few summer stars so what i think you might see later on this week is that these premier league cards might actually be at their highest like today they might actually be at some of their highest prices today maybe tomorrow but i think you're going to get as we get towards the end of the week people are going to remember what happened to all these cards when batch one was released and they remember seeing the drop-offs like on this future stars Saka card. You guys remember these drop-offs, right? With all the supply that was there, this card went from 500k all the way down to 90,000 coins. He's 84k at the moment, right? That huge, insane drop-off we had that day one. You know, we're going to have big, insane drop-offs like that for Team of the Season cards if they get released, re-released as well. And that's going to drop kind of the whole market. So that's why I'd be very careful, even if you bought some Premier League cards for your team, I would honestly say if it's a Premier League Tots item, I mean, you're taking a little bit of a gamble that the card does not get released. Now, of course, what they did with Batch 1, right? You didn't have Team of the Year Mbappe, or sorry, you didn't have Team of the Year Mbappe, you didn't have Team of the Year Messi. They pulled all sorts of different types of special cards and from different points in the year. 
Um, but I really think batch two is going to be a step up, right? They're just going to keep moving closer and closer to the most recent cards that were added into packs. So I think we're going to see a lot of team of the seasons in batch two. I really do. So that's why I wanted to stress in this video today, while those cards are up at the moment right now, it might not be a terrible time, especially if it's a Premier League item to take the cash on it. I know that seems like counterintuitive to what you may want to actually do because you just bought these cards for your weekend league team. Now, I actually want to buy Hyunmin Sun for my weekend league squad, right? I'm actually thinking of running a full Spurs weekend league this weekend. Um, and this would be the team that I run. So I need to buy Sun and Ndombele and I'll replace this Isoko with the new one that comes today. But, you know, I'm gonna wait until Friday. If Sun is re-released back in packs, and even if he's not, re-release back into packs there's probably going to be a little bit of selling on that friday morning as people are going to start to talk about and expect some tots cards to be re-released now if he is re-released he's going to tank right he's probably going to cut in half maybe even a little bit more in price and it's going to be an incredible opportunity to buy even with some demand coming later on as people who panic sell the sun card because it goes back into packs and of course he's you know in packs so he's getting supplied at the same time so I mean, that's one thing that I would really watch out for this weekend is if you bought Premier League cards, just be careful, right? Just be careful. Again, it's not guaranteed that some of these summer stars are going to get re-released back into packs. It's definitely not guaranteed the PTG cards will be re-released, but I really do think we will start to see some of these team of the season items because they're kind of like next up, if you will. They're kind of like the next thing that could be released as stuff that is in packs so just keep an eye out for that and that's the biggest thing that i wanted to stress today in, in today's video is that while some of the stuff has gone up in price a bit maybe it's time to take a little bit of your cash right i actually didn't even sell wow this came was a lazy buy 290 he's 270 so i've got a salah that i bought at 410 and right now his cheapest on the market's 470 470 so you know what i'm gonna be that guy i'm gonna undercut by 3k look to take my sale still listing up this mouth. So boom, do you know stuff like that? I might take this cash because what if Salah gets re-released back into packs, the panic on Friday and all that stuff. And then it's probably going to go even lower into Sunday. It's, it could be a crazy Friday, man. That's all that I'm saying and what I'm setting it up for. And what I wanted to talk about today is that it could be a crazy Friday, depending on what cards do get re-released back in packs. Now, again, let's rewind back to last Wednesday. What happened with that at all objective being out? Some of these items like let's use Chillwell for example, uh, example right? Chillwell I bought for 160,000 coins. Um, what day was it? Monday. Monday for 160,000 coins. He went back up. I sold him at 180. Then the Premier League objective came out. He is now right around like 190, almost 200,000 coins. Let's say that some big objective player comes out. Like let's say the Adama comes out today on Wednesday, or a big you know a Prem objective player like a tall insane amount of hype. You might see a little bit of a drop off on some of these cards just as people go out and they've put all their focus in grinding that, that player, especially ahead of a Premier League uh, weekend league, if that is the case, or whatever content there is today that would be potentially insane, I guess you could say, maybe Sissoko, maybe some other sort of SBC that has dropped. Um, you know, some of these cards that are probably not getting released into packs, I don't know if they're going to go, if there are PTG and Summer Stars, it's just going to be a select few that are in this batch too, right? Uh, specifically, you know, batch three, we would expe expect those cards to be in, but maybe not batch two. I would watch some of the panic selling today on Wednesday. If there is some sort of content that would make some of these cards drop a bit, I would 100% look at the ones that rebounded the most yesterday that are also pretty rare, not in packs, right? Dominson Sanchez is 210 at the moment. He was 230. I think a lot of people are using this card with the links to the Yeri Mina, right? So this one that's sitting here at 210, what the world? It's actually a 20K undercut. Um, that's actually a 20k undercut that is just sitting there on the market and the rest are at 230. So I'm gonna let that sit since it's already sat for 30 minutes and see if we can snag like a 200k flat undercut and then I'll be able to sell that probably like 230. But that's the kind of stuff that I'd be watching out for, uh, with maybe some panic selling for it would be some of your other summer stars would be maybe like a Cavani, right? A very in demand striker from the, from this team that would be in de demand for the weekend league as well. A Sterling, a Kane, a Ferran Torres, 175k. He's actually rebounded up a decent amount from where he was. Richarlison with the uh, Brazilian links as well to Allen and Bernard that have been SBCs recently. Laporte, Calvin Phillips, both cards that have gone up a decent amount. PTG Firmino, 1.3 mil after being like 1.1 flat a couple days ago. Um, Wynaldum, who is up. Pogba, who is up. So that's the kind of stuff that I'd be looking out for. If there's any panic, 
I still believe you'll be able to trade with these cards. They will still fluctuate because people who bought them up for their weekend league um, will, you know, people might go out and sell those depending on the content that comes out. So that's kind of one thing to keep an eye on as well uh, that we saw last week that I wanted to mention today too. Now let's go back really quick and talk about yesterday's content because there's a couple notes that I want to make about yesterday, which was arguably a really quiet day besides that weekend league plus objective, which I mean was kind of hidden in a sense as well because it's on the second page under the milestones tab, EA released not very much content wise. We have an 86 plus, which I think I've passed it, an 86 plus player pick that was released. Now, here's the thing with this. In my opinion, you want to wait to do this player pick SBC until Friday because on Friday with batch two coming out with better cards and packs, team of the season cards, maybe some summer stars, maybe some path to glories, it would be in your best interest to save this 86 plus player pick since it is available for six days until friday so you know maybe wait to do this until you get your rewards on thursday then you can put it in your unassigned and let it sit there until friday when the new cards come out that'd be my opinion i'm honestly surprised that ea sports let this out and let it sit for six days right usually you would, you would expect this to expire when these player picks do for footies team one uh and then you know that would be a card that you had or an sbc you'd have to do beforehand but it somehow is out for six days. So we'll keep an eye on that just in case EA changed the time and kind of go all ratty on us. But that's a nice SBC that you can save. Now, today on Wednesday, we'll probably get some other sort of player pick or upgrade pack SBC, maybe an 83 times 10, you know, 85 times 10, any sort of those, maybe an 88 plus again times five. I guess that would be just for footy team one. But keep an eye out for that as well and maybe another pack that you can save now let's since we had this 86 plus player pick fodder actually did go up a bit right you have 84 rated cards that are 8,000 coins a piece you have 83s that are basically 5k a piece these guys were 3,000 coins sunday night these cards were 6k if you invested you're feeling good you're feeling really good especially with the sissoko potentially coming out today now of course we don't know how this the supply is going to come in but the last two days now the preview packs yesterday on tuesday were just very very average again as well i think it was i i think i actually made coins or i'm potentially making coins on this 45k pack with allison in here and a couple other cards so i might actually end up buying this one if i'll do the math here in a second but i might actually be end up making coins but these packs didn't supply the market that much uh with the fodder and since there was a decent amount of demand for that player pick sbc you definitely saw the fodder go up. So maybe you're thinking about cashing out on some of your fodder before the weekend. Now, I know that last week, or sorry, two weeks ago with footies, and we'll talk about this later on, fodder exploded with that footies player pick SBC that was released. Now, it's going to take that SBC for batch number two to make me think that fodder is going to explode again this Friday. So if you got in on some 83s and 84s, maybe even 85s, I would consider taking the cash pretty soon, right? Because it's a nice rise for a couple day investment. You're making two to 3000 coins per card. You buy 100 cards. That's really, really solid profit for a short turnaround. So uh, in an SBC fodder con uh, content or con, what would that word be? Uh, con concepts? Hmm. An SBC fodder, I guess, manner, uh, that's kind of what I would be uh, doing if I had that fodder. So uh, context, context, in an SBC fodder context, that was the word I was thinking of. Anyways, uh, yo, words are hard right now. Anyways, that's kind of what I'm expecting with that. Now, today on Wednesday, content-wise, again, we talked about the upgrade SBC. We talked about potentially a new objective. I don't know about a player SBC, but I, I really hope they keep pushing out these transfer players, like we had the Hakimi. We've had all these cards that have been added to the code, added into the game, like the Barcelona Aguero, the PSG Wijnaldum. We looked at them yesterday on the video, the Liverpool Konate, uh, that kind of stuff we've seen added into the game. I really hope for more transfer content because that's dope. That is dope. And like Hakimi's gold PSG card isn't even on the market right now. So that's kind of dope as well. But I really hope for more of that transfer content. I hope for that Sissoko SBC to be somewhere around the range of probably like four to 500K. If they're valuing PSG Marquinhos CDM as an 84, 86, and 87 rated squads, Sissoko today might be 85, 86, 88, or 85, 86, 87. I think he's gonna be a little bit more expensive than Marquinhos. That's what I would expect. 
Now, of course, I'm going to be getting that SBC done, um, and it's going to be hard to craft. I don't have a ton of fodder in the club, and play and the upgrade packs this week are not good. But that's kind of what I'm expecting for Sissoko, basing that off of the Marquinhos price point, and especially EA knowing they've got everybody wanting to do uh, a Premier League weekend league this weekend with the requirements that they have set out. But again, I really wanted to talk in this video about some of those team this season cards, stuff that could be in batch two and give you a big time heads up because you guys remember the huge price drops that we saw, saw last time. I do think that that stuff could happen again with especially team of the season items, but that's going to impact the rest of the market as well. If we have team of the season items getting really, really cheap, that's going to drop some of these summer stars. They're going to be more panic selling all around this weekend, in my opinion, if they do kind of go all go all out with batch two and drop a really nice set of cards back into pack. So that is just what I wanted to bring to you with this video today. Hopefully the Wednesday content is banging because the Thursday, sorry, the Tuesday content was a bit slow in my opinion on this game. But that's the video for today, boys. Again, those were the concepts I wanted to bring you guys today. Again, hoping for batch two, because again, this week has been a lot slower, right? Week one of footies was pretty hype. Week two has definitely been slower. So hopefully a Sissoko SBC and a new vote as well today. We'll probably get a new player pick vote for an SBC that would come on Friday. So that's one thing I'll be expecting as well. And an upgrade pack SBC, maybe an objective. We'll see what EA Sports has in store for us alongside of a Silver Star potentially as well. Uh, but that could be our content today inside of FIFA. So if you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.